Okay, uh, today I'm going to show you how to change the color of your objects in mid-animation. So I've got Blender opened up here with the default cube selected. I'm going to add in another cube and move it anywhere you want. I'm going to also add in a UV sphere and you can move that anywhere you want. And then I'm going to go to my camera view and I'm going to select everyone by click, right click on one hold down shift and right click on the other one same thing with the other one hit the S key to size it down grab it and hit X to grab it on the X axis grab again by hitting G hit the Y to move it on the Y axis and I'm gonna go back to top view by hitting 7 and I'm just gonna move them around a little bit more okay okay and now right click on one of your objects hit I location rotation scale I location rotation scale for the next object and I location rotation scale for your third object. Now what that did is for the frame that you're on, which I'm on frame one, it's gonna make it so since it's in this location and this one's in this location, this is in this location. So for frame one they will be set for this location unless you change it later on by readjusting the frame. Okay now since these have a set location I'm gonna give them a set color so go to your shading tab F5 and right click on one of your uh, one of your objects and now you're not gonna be able to see this but my mouse is just gonna go down and change color so I'm gonna select any color you want so you can see right here I'm got it open okay now hit down here when your mouse is down by the materials hit I and you'll see a new window pop up and hit RGB and do this for each of your objects you'll have to add new material for the other two since they you added them in as an object and they weren't the default so pick a new color and hit I RGB and then right click on your last object add new choose a different color I RGB so now for frame one they all have a set color so now I'm gonna now on your keyboard, okay, I'm just going to tell you this now, the up arrow goes up 10 frames, the down arrow goes down 10 frames, the left arrow goes back 1 frame, the right arrow goes forward 1 frame. So hit the up arrow one time. <coughs> now select a cube, move it anywhere you want, select the other cube, move it anywhere you want, select the UV sphere, move it anywhere you want. Now do the eye location rotation scale for each one. Okay, now so since I'm on frame 11 now and I just did that, so this is their position for frame 11. Now for each one, I'm going to change a color. So I'm just going to pick some random colors here. I, RGB. Click on your other object. Select a new color. I, RGB. Next object. Select a new color. I, RGB. Okay, so now for frame 11, they have a new color. So go up 10 more frames, move them again to anywhere you want. I location rotation scale for each one. Okay, and then you're going to change the color for each one once again. Then I RGB. Select your other object change color IRGB select your last object change the color IRGB go up 10 more frames grab an object move it somewhere grab a different object move it somewhere grab your other object move it somewhere I location rotation scale I location rotation scale I location rotation scale now select one change color I RGB, select another one, change color. I RGB, select your last one, change the color. I RGB, go up 10 more frames, change the color. This time I'm going to make all the colors the same. Um, I'll make them all red. I RGB. IRGB IRGB and I'm going to move them around and 
I location rotation scale, I location rotation scale, I location rotation scale. Hit zero on your numpad to go to your camera view, and now I'll hit the down arrow four times to go to the frame one. Okay, now I'll hold down all and hit A to play it. This is your animation played out. And you can see they're switching colors and moving positions. Hit the escape key to get out of that. Seven to go to the top view. Now in your shadings tab, click on the little earth, which is world buttons. Okay, make sure you're on frame one. Horizon, H O R, H O G, and H O B. See how that's underneath the blue, and the blue is what is appearing over here on your left. So that's what the color is for if you've rendered it out. So hit I, Horizon RGB, since that's what's underneath the blue. So I, Horizon RGB, to set it as that. Up 10 frames, change it to something else. This is changing your world colors. I, Horizon RGB, hit the right arrow key five times. And now, choose a different color. I, Horizon RGB, go up 10 frames, change it. I, Horizon RGB, go up another 5 frames, change it, I, Horizon RGB, go up 10 frames, change it again, I, Horizon RGB. And okay, now click on your scene, scene little tab, which is F10, okay, now I'm going to drag my window up. Okay, now you got NIM, that's to animate, but you don't want to do that yet. So you see your STA, which is your start frame, and your end, it's at 250 by default. Your start is at 1, which is what you want, and your end, how many other frames you did, I have 41, so if you followed me, you'll have 41 frames. So type in 41, that's what your animation will end at, so you don't continue on with a bunch of other frames that you don't need. Underneath format, I'll say JPEG, change that to AVI raw. And I'm going to change, the AVI raw makes it so it's an actual animation. I'm going to change my FRS slash SEC, which is frames per second. I'm going to change mine to 15. And now what you're going to do is you're going to animate it. I'm going to pause this so I can animate mine out. It shouldn't take too long, so I'll do that now. Okay, it should be rendered out, so now you're just going to exit out of your rendered window and go to start, my computer, your C drive, and underneath the, and in the TMP folder, you should have your animation saved there. So you can just go in there and you can play with Windows Media play Player. So I'll show the results at the end of this tutorial. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the tu tutorial and learned something in front of it. So uh, thank you, and I'll try to make more. So um, that's it. All right. Mm, bye.